Okay, robbing the nuclear family is, there's a few themes and I actually have to go back to my last album, Tomorrow in Progress, which was recorded in China. And when I was finishing it, I kept writing songs. And, and that, in the past, that's never happened. When I was finishing a record, I would be done writing songs, but with, uh, with Tomorrow in Progress, I kept writing songs. And so I had three or four songs that would wind up being on robbing uh, the nuclear family, one of those being uh, Grandsons of the Empire. Mm -hmm. And uh, that song, it, it really encapsulates what it's like to live, be an expat. And li I was living in Shanghai and I felt like I, I didn't know what home was. The thing that happened in China and, and that's what I sort of touched upon with Tomorrow in Progress and Robbing the Nuclear Family, was in the past when I would record, I would eke out, you know, uh, however many songs and maybe have some extras so that I could choose what would be on an album, but I didn't have like such a flood of ideas. And, and what happened was I just re booted my sort of creative spirit there. You know, it, it, it's just, it's, I loved it because it's also, I felt like I was living in a dream world and I was, and I, I sort of treated it like a game show when I was there because there was a lot of frustrations because most people don't speak English there and I don't really speak Chinese. So you had to, I had to like figure out how to get around day to day. I, I traveled, or I, I got by on a series of notes and learning phrases and such, but um, but it was really exciting because it was like, I just felt like I was living in a dream world. And I really did love it because it was just so odd all the time, but in this really good way. And, and, and people, like I'd ask for direct, or if I asked somebody something and they didn't, speak English, they would do everything they could to try to explain to me what, uh, what I was asking. And, and so they, they are the consummate hosts as well. They, uh, they, it was just the best thing, one of the, maybe the best thing I ever did. One of the best things I've ever done is going to China and just kind of losing myself there. I feel like I'm at this age where I thought my life would be so much different at, and I'm in my 50s, and I, I thought in my 50s I, things would be a lot more sort of not like they are for me. But, but I feel like right now I have more, like, more of a creative zenith than I've, like, this is my, like, creative zenith for some reason, and I don't.